follow-up to my AI telemarketing uh, and just let, give you an update as to my efforts and uh, hopefully save you some money because uh, I've invested a few dollars into fine-tuning this, not a whole lot because it's very cheap to run overall, which is my overall assessment. Uh, but uh, I have wasted a few dollars in it and then there are some refinements that you can make to make this a whole lot easier for you uh, and then also to set your expectations overall. <clears throat> so starting off, the service that I'm using is Bland.ai. I'm not being paid by them on any level. I'm paying them, uh, in fact. Uh, and then so the reason why I'm using them is just very simplistically, they have the full infrastructure all built out. Everything that I need uh, in order to run this and do it, they already have it all built. I was hoping and I was thinking that their model is the like like a chat GPT voice. It's not. After testing it, I can tell you that it's not uh, because you have to be very specific with the prompting and then so that's the first step that I'll get into is so when you're setting up and you're you're doing these campaigns whether you're doing a batch call or a campaign the very first thing that you would do is you set up your script right this prompt uh, and then so you can see here that they have saved prompts uh, and then so <laughs> this is good right their saved prompts are, are actually pretty good overall but so I took like this one as a sample right uh, your name is Sarah and you're a surveyor working on behalf of a small business directory. You joined the company earlier this year. The company's goal is to collect data about small businesses and create a proprietary data set to sell to private equity funds. Your job is to ask four basic questions and collect information from this small business. And then it gives the four questions and, and a script. Seems pretty generic and straightforward, right? So I was like, okay, I'll take ChatGPT and then say, hey, uh, switch this script up and then so uh, essentially, like this is uh, the instructions that it gives it. So the instructions are that it's a telemarketer that it's offering a $500 AI ready readiness assessment, uh, and then key points to highlight. I give it tone and approach, handling objections, final goal, and then I give it like I mislabeled this, I think, right? So I give it telemarketing script, and then you can see here, I, like it, it's following like the example that it was given. So like the person picks up the phone, and then you. Sarah, the, the AI, uh, and then it goes through, right? But what you'll notice, and I'll run through, I'll show you some of these sample calls. I'm gonna do it off camera. It, it, it's a little bit painful for me to uh, listen to these, we'll call them bloopers, because it, like, I mean, one, I'm paying for them, and then two, it's it's out in my like my business name, right? There is a person that picked up, and then it's like like so it's you'll see here, right? And I'll, I'll, you'll see it. But so overall metrics giving you the full breakdown uh, would I do this and and what am I going to do this moving forward absolutely yes I'm, I'm gonna scale this off <laughs> like uh, just because it's so cost effective right so my it's uh, about I cost me about 200 dials to get a person to pick up uh, and then uh, I'm paying on average for this about like two to three dollars per 100 dials so let's say it cost me five dollars to get a person to pick up, and that's 200 dials. If I were to go to Fiverr, Upwork, etc., which I have done before, uh, for 100 dials, I'll be paying on average between like 15 and 25 dollars. Like, like uh, it's going to take between, let's say, like two to four hours, and then that's you know like the billing rates how they work out. That's essentially what I'm going to be paying uh, for that, and that's like common rate across the board, right? Like 15 and 25 dollars for 100 calls. Uh, I expect kind of the same thing, right? Like the, the same outcome and the same result. After trying out the AI telemarketer, the AI telemarketer, like it's better if you can dial it, right? And then, so that's the thing, like I know that they're not like, you have to dial in the script of this telemarketer. And if you take the time and you go through, so they have like the, the simple setup, like the batch call and then the, um, the, uh, campaigns and then like actually going through the campaign creating a campaign and then like uh, creating like a, a, a path that's what they call it conversational pathways uh, and then creating pathways it like it, you want to do this like um, and then either from use case from script or from scratch but if we go back to the conversation the pathway showcase you can see that it gets like really um, detail oriented right appointment center this is what we want 
So you can see that like you give it like I should like one thing that I, I should have done earlier on is clone a path like this, right? Uh, and then so it gives you like it, it like rather than a script, it's telling like it's full on do this, do that, do this, do that, do that, this, that. And then the other thing that uh, I have noticed within this platform just very specifically as I was going through and setting this up is um, when you go through their settings and then like some you won't know oftentimes or sometimes what the settings are. Uh, and then so it'll be like uh, there's one that says wait for reading and so record and wait for reading are two settings that you can adjust. Record is very straightforward, right? Record is record. Wait for reading is like you want to check that and I wasn't sure if I want to check that as I'm going through. I think it's on the create campaign uh, and then uh, right here. So wait for reading and record, right? And they're both set to off and then default on both. Like I default like turn both of these on. Like there's no reason to turn them off as far as I like as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so record is going to record your calls, which you want, uh, and then uh, wait for greeting is like this will call, cut down on the amount of voicemails that you're paying for or for like the amount of like uh, time that the model is talking to an automated like an automated tree uh, like you're going to pay for those uh, and that's what comes into like your two dollars per like 100 is paying for like those like auto like talking to automated trees things like that the AI is not a hundred percent good at uh picking up that it's talking to an automated tree as opposed to a person but with this on it cuts that down significantly like with this off like you're doubling your call right like if you go to these analytics you'll see here uh it shows answered 19 out of those 19 18 are actually voicemails right like one is like the actual number uh, and then again, I'll go through it and I'll play through. I have some of the call recordings now. So the call logs, again, like if you don't turn on that call recording, you don't have these recordings here in the call logs. Uh, and then I'll show you uh, in a second here some of these call recordings. And I'll definitely show you the one that got answered. So you can see uh, pays to refine your script, to test, to go through those pathways, set up the pathways, clone the pathways, realize that this isn't chat gpt voice that it's like you need to give it um like the full path like the objections what exactly it should be doing things like that right and like don't like don't just feed it like a script because it's just gonna go off of the script as you'll see so if you like this type of content please like and subscribe and uh and enjoy the bloopers good morning parker parker plumbing this is roger Good morning, Roger. This is Sarah calling on behalf of Applicable Grounded Innovations. We're currently reaching out. Hello, this is Joe from Collins with Plymouth. And I'm able to come to the phone. Hi, right Joe. Now. This is Sarah calling on behalf of Applicable Grounded Innovations. We're currently reaching Thank you for calling Mainline Plumbing, Inc. If you're a potential customer you. and would Hi, like to speak Sarah to a representative, please press 1. We're currently if you're an existing to local customer, to offer please press a $500 2. For all of the assessment matters, and evaluation. please press 3. This service is designed to help small businesses like yours discover how Thank AI you for can calling improve operations Mainline and Plumbing drive growth. If you you're a, a potential customer this? and would like to speak to a representative, Person. please yes, press 1. I'd be happy to if you're an existing what customer, exactly is involved in please press 2. For all of the matters, please press 3. The AI readiness assessment includes, one, a discovery session to understand your business needs, a follow-up consulting session, a comprehensive report based on the data we gather, a presentation of our findings. The goal is to provide you with actionable insights on how AI could be integrated into your current operations to improve efficiency and customer engagement. Person. That does sound interesting. What do I need to do or provide for this assessment? You. I just need to ask a few quick questions to tailor the assessment specifically to your business. It won't take long at all. Person. Sure, go ahead. You. Great. First question. What's... HD Plumbing. Person. Hello, this is HD Plumbing. My name is Mark. How can I help you? You, Sarah. Hi, Mark. This is Sarah calling on behalf of Applicable Grounded Innovations. We're currently reaching out to local businesses to offer a $500 AI readiness assessment and evaluation. This service is designed to help small businesses like yours discover how AI can improve operations and drive growth. Do you have a few minutes to chat about this? Person. AI? That sounds interesting, but what does it involve exactly? You, Sarah. Absolutely.
Absolutely. The AI readiness assessment includes a discovery session to understand your business needs, a follow-up consulting session, a comprehensive report based on the data we gather, a presentation of our findings. The goal is to provide you with actionable insights on how AI could be integrated into your current operations to improve efficiency and customer engagement. Person. That does sound intriguing. What do you need from me? You, Sarah. I just need to ask a few quick questions to tailor the assessment specifically to your business. It won't take long at all. Person. Sure, go ahead. You. Sarah. Great. First question. What services do you provide to the community? Person. We provide plumbing services. Most of the time it's folks calling in because they have an issue with their sink or toilet. You, Sarah, got it. And what are your hours of operation? Person. Monday through Saturday, it's 9 a.m. 7 p.m. Sundays, it's 10 a.m. 2 p.m. You, Sarah, perfect. And how many employees do you currently have on staff? Person. We have about 10 plumbers and a support team around them. You, Sarah. That's helpful to know. Lastly, could you share the owner's contact information? This is just so we can set up the initial discovery session. Rest assured, we won't share this information with anyone else.